Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So, I know I start off a lot of my videos by saying how excited I am, but today I really am so excited. I'm, I'm excited in all the other ones too, but today I'm very excited because I have just purchased and received my first ever analog synthesizer. I went with a Korg Volca Keys. I wanted something that was simple to learn, but had some real, uh, you know, real nice sound to it and uh, something that seemed usable. And I did a bunch of research online. And uh, from what I could tell, this was a great place to start. So uh, yeah, I figured we'd unbox it and uh, see what we can do here. So let's take a peek inside. This is a great unbo unboxing video. The, uh, the box in the way. There we go. That kind of works. So it looks like we got an instruction manual here that probably looks like it doubles as a treasure map. This is giant. Holy cow. All right. We don't, we don't need that right now. Let's take this cardboard insert out. And what is this? Oh, they actually, they give us a, a cable. That's cool. And they give us, looks like, some double A's. Let's take this insert out as well here. Whoop, there go the, there go the double A's. Six of them. And then here is the Volca itself. This thing is so small. Wow. I owned a Volca FM for like two days and I couldn't figure it out. I, you know, I, I should not have started with it. But uh, I, I forget how small these are. Just crazy. All right. Finally get that out of there. Wow. Very small, very cool. All righty, that looks really nice, man. All right, well, uh, it does come with six double A's here. Uh, however, we're not gonna be using those. I also ordered the additional uh, power supply, so I figured that would be the smart thing to do. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open here. Uh, the Volca Keys uh, in the US where I am, this retails for, sorry, I'll. Quit crinkling that. This retails for $149, um, which is, I think, a pretty good deal. And uh, the power adapter was an additional, I think, 10 bucks. So not too bad for an actual analog synthesizer. Um, I believe the, de the delay on this guy uh, is digital. But as far as I know, everything else is analog, which is awesome. Because I have never owned an analog synth before. I guess unless you count the oscillator on this guy here <laughs> on the monotron delay. Uh, which I believe the delay is the same delay as the one on the Monotron. I could be wrong about that, but uh, we will see. So, yeah, I'm really excited for this guy. Um, you know, it's portable. We could pop the back off and power it with those double A's. But since I'm going to be using this more as a tool to learn synthesis, I figured that picking up the additional power adapter was definitely more than worth it. So we're going to plug this in here. And... Uh, power this guy on so we plug it in and press power and nothing okay that's not a good sign oh there, okay there we go <laughs> I'm just very impatient I guess so uh, it's gonna boot up let's go ahead and Oh, I guess I could plug it into my interface. <laughs> Give me just a second. All right, let's plug this guy in. There we go. Ooh, that is nice. All right, so this is a three oscillator analog synth, and uh, you can play it in poly mode, which uh, that means you can play multiple notes at the same time, which is really cool. You can play up to three. which uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with it right now. I'm you know, still learning this thing. Oh, there's the volume. Let's not max the volume. But yeah, you can, uh, you can play three at the same time or we can switch it to unison. And now they're all going, uh, they're all playing the same note. There's also octave. So now they're an octave apart. Fifth, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm not exactly sure what unison ring and poly ring are. Um, I will have to, to learn that and figure all that out. Uh, let's see if there's a, a phrase on here. Oh, yep. Very cool. So uh, right off the bat, this thing sounds amazing. Uh, you'll notice, though, that the keyboard is a little small and kind of uh, looks difficult to play. 
So we're going to zoom out and I'm going to bring in the Arturia key step right here. I'll reroute, reroute power to it around the camera tripod. Let's get this plugged in here. There we go. And now all I need is a normal MIDI cable. Do I have a normal MIDI cable just hanging out here? I do. So this is one of the main reasons why I got uh, this Volca as well. Whoop, MIDI out of the key step. That's because it's got this lovely little MIDI import right on top. So just do that. There we go. That's much better. So I'm going to turn the delay off. That sounds, sounds nice. Let's uh, go ahead and play with some of this here. Let's uh, drop ourselves down. Let's put ourselves in unison mode. And uh, basically going to turn all of these down here. Just start playing with this and see what we can do here. So uh, let's uh, detune it a little bit. How far can you go? Oh, you can go quite a, quite a bit with it. There we go. That filter's nice. Let's get some sustain up on this. Oh, yeah. So the filter, you can hear it does step quite a bit with the, with the resonance or the peak. You can hear it really has some, some pretty heavy stepping on it. But that's okay, just don't, uh, just don't max it. You still get some real nice, real nice sweeps there. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Very cool. So let's uh, let's go back to unison here and play with a little portamento. There we go. Let's see here. I know I want to do function, and there's an LFO on here too. Um, I'm, so I'm not really. This isn't really a walk through the Volca keys. This is just more so you can kind of experience my first time experiencing this synth. I'm going to turn on trigger sync. Bring down Portamento. So I'm really here to learn more about like. Uh, the pitch intensity and the cutoff intensity on the LFO, and also uh, how the envelope generator, the EG, kind of plays with the oscillator and the filter, the VCO and the VCF. So that's that's what I'm really kind of interested in. So oh, I see. That's very interesting. Okay. The more I play with it, the better the more it's gonna make sense too, I'm sure. So I'm gonna So I'm not exactly sure what that's doing right there. But I... Oh, I see. There's kind of that swell. You can hear it right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. That's why, because uh, I didn't have the cutoff intensity set properly. Very cool. Very cool. I understand now. This is 
pretty neat. I'm, I'm really digging this. Let's get some more delay going here. Let's, uh... So this is definitely a lot like the, uh, the delay on the Monotron. Definitely. Um... And pitch bend still works on the key step. I know you guys can't really see down here. <laughs> Let's go a little less on the feedback there. This is going to sound sweet once we put it through some reverb on the NTS-1. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a little detune. That's got some balls to it. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a line you gotta come very close to uh, with the peak. Let's pick a triangle wave for our LFO here, and I'll see if I'm understanding this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I understand, I get it. Turn off the delay. Oh man, how many rush licks can I play on the keyboard? <laughs> uh, this is pretty freaking awesome though. That's pretty sick too. I like that a lot. Oh, that gets really wacky when you get up in the higher octaves. And I'm not a keyboard player by any means, so uh, feel free to judge all you want. Let's drop this down to octave. So you can kind of tune the LFO, sorry my rabbit's drinking, you can kind of tune the LFO uh, with the rate to whatever note you're playing. I'm a classic rock fan. What can I say? Well, this is awesome. I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to learn some more about this and keep going with it. Uh, the sync in and sync out uh, definitely definitely intrigue me, uh, if you know what I'm saying. And I can't wait to get some of this going and come up with some new jams 
Um, you know, the portability of this thing is pretty cool too. The fact that I can just pop some batteries in there and, and use it on the go. Really looking forward to that. So if you guys enjoyed this, my, uh, my first bumbling around with a real analog synthesizer, be sure to leave a like on the video. If not, you can hit dislike too. That's okay. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.